All right, so first things first, you want to come over to file, then you want to go to settings. And then once you get into settings, you want to go to the video tab. Right here, you see base canvas resolution. This is what you're working with. This is where you're putting all your different sources, your images, your videos, all that stuff, your camera, your webcam, whatever the case may be. You want to make sure you see what this is. So it's 1080p. And then right here, you see the output scaled resolution is also 1080p. You can choose these to be the same or you can choose these to be different. So if you want it to be 1080p here or something different, you can choose to output at a lower resolution if you're streaming or something like that. So it comes in handy depending on what you're using it for and how you want it to be done. But in this case, I want it to be 1080p both ways and then I want it to be this frame rate right here. So that's all fine. I can X off of this. So I want to go to the source after I add it. I want to right click on it. I want to hit properties and then as you can see 1080p and then everything else is matching as well. So that's fine and dandy. So if I launch my Xbox it's going to actually show up the correct way. It's not going to have any gaps, any bars, any weird shape or anything on this canvas. It's going to look absolutely wonderful. So that's exactly how you do that. If you've ever wondered why your aspect ratio is not matching or why your screen and video aren't matching on your OBS canvas, this is an easy way to do it. And also, if they're the different size or something like that, like small, you can right click on it and then you can go to transform right here and then you can go to fit to screen. So it's a quicker way to get it to be the size of your screen. Now keep in mind, if the aspect ratios aren't the same and you do that to something for an image that's smaller, like a 720p image and you're trying to blow it up to be 1080p, you may lose quality. So only do that when the resolution is the same. So that way you know when you fit it to screen, it'll look nice, it'll look crisp, it'll look just like you want it to look and you have the best quality possible. And when you do right click on something and go to transform, you see you have all of these different options. So depending on what you're needing to do, you should have the choice that you need to make right there to make it a little bit quicker for you. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button. It's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.